Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. And today I'd like to share with you this Mandelbrot set generator that I created. So let's go ahead and open up the menu here and click create. And there we go, absolutely beautiful. Now this was largely inspired by Brian Lorgon 111. He's the first person I saw make a generator for this in Minecraft back in 2014. Now at the time with the 1.8 command blocks, it took about a second to generate every block. So the entire process took a really long time. Uh, and then in 1.9, he made a revamped version when the newer command blocks came out and it was a lot faster, but the entire thing still took a while to generate. Uh, and now in 1.16 with functions in the newer command format, we can generate this pretty much instantly. So the way this works is very similar to Lorgon's original version. So if you want a more in-depth explanation, uh, you can find the original videos in the description down below. And uh, you can also find his channel there. I highly recommend you guys check him out. He has a lot of great stuff on there. Definitely recommend. Uh, and now let's go ahead and go into the main features of this. So the primary function involves this carrot on a stick with which we can zoom into different portions of the graph. So let's go ahead and start zooming in over here. I'll continue zooming a couple more times. Go ahead over here. And as you can see, we get this incredible looking lightning strike pattern. I just, I, I really love this. Uh, of course, this is Minecraft, so we can only zoom in so far. Uh, after a little while, we'll start getting errors, but it's, it's pretty impressive how far we can go into it. So let's keep on going. I'll go one more time and then I'll stop. <laughs> All right, so then we can go ahead and click texture over here, and this will allow us to change the texture to various things. We have a lot of options, but I'm gonna go with concrete. I'll hit default to return back to the original image, now in uh, concrete. Let's go over these. So we have X offset and Y offset. This basically allows us to shift the center of the display. So if we go ahead and set Y offset to 10, right now it's set to zero, uh, enter and create, we can see we shift the graph up by 10 units. X scale and Y scale are basically the zoom along the axis. So, or the zoom, yeah. So uh, X scale right now, I believe it's set to 50. So let's go ahead and set it to 100. And we should basically get the graph stretched along the X axis. And that is what we get. So let's go ahead and go back to default. Now, if we set the X scale to a negative value, so let's go ahead and set it to negative 50. And the X offset right now, it's negative 32. Let's make that positive and go ahead and create it. As you can see, now we've flipped the graph. So we can do a lot of cool things messing around with this. Uh, let's go ahead and default it. Now degree basically means the accuracy. So Minecraft doesn't have decimals. So we have to uh, play around with some things in order to get an accurate picture. So right now it's set to 5,000. If we go ahead and set this to 25 and click create, we can see the effect it has. Now we get these much larger pixels because we have a lot less accuracy. So basically the farther in you zoom, the higher you want the degree for more accuracy. And the farther out you zoom, the lower you want the degree for a more accurate picture. So let's go ahead and, and uh, check that out. Let's go ahead and default it. Now the zoom was set to 2000 before, that means zoom in two times. If you set it to 1000, then you can just shift the graph around by clicking. And then if we go ahead and set it to 500, we're actually gonna zoom out two times. So let's go ahead, enter, uh, and let's start zooming out. So start here. Let's click one more time. As you can see, we get all these rings, this very circular pattern. Now these are actually created by Minecraft. If you've ever played around with the operations, you'll notice that once it goes above a certain value when you're multiplying things, it'll actually become negative. So it's pretty easy to get rid of a lot of these rings, but I decided to leave them in because I really like the effect it has. Let's go ahead and start zooming into them. Oh, whoops, I meant to enter 2000 there. And uh, let's go over here. We're gonna continue zooming in. As you can see, we're getting some neat patterns. And we get these kind of circular rings and ellipses and shapes, really cool. Um, if we continue zooming in, you'll see that the pattern actually changes. That's because these are really just errors. We're not actually zooming into an accurate image. It's gonna keep on going. You can see we get these really cool patterns. Uh, let's go ahead and default it though. And as you can see, uh, we can set the texture to something else. One of my favorites is the glazed terracotta. We get a really nice effect going on here. 
it almost looks cartoonish. I just, I love the effect. Um, and of course, I'm going to leave a download link to this in the description below where you can download it, play around with things, check it out for yourself. Uh, it's pretty fun messing around with all the, the different stuff you can do. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Once again, I uh, highly recommend checking out Lorgon's channel in the description below. And thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.